Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about calculus. The topic today is about Cauchy residue theorem. So now I will show you how to answer. First, we need to analyze about this one. We know that z that is about the complex function and that should be about a plus b i i that's about a imaginary unit so if we put inside the absolute value we have the magnitude of z so in this situation we have the square root of a square plus b square and this one equals to number three now if we put the power true for the both sides we have number three to the power of true and the square root we cancel now if we look carefully about this one this is similar to the circle so because we don't have c and d in here so in this situation the center of this one that should be about zero zero and the radius that is about number three now we need to wrap this one this is for a this is for b a that's it for real b that's about i am now we put the circle in here and the radius is about number three this one for negative number three in here this one we have negative number three in here now we need to concentrate about this one so we need to find about the both so in this situation we put about z minus 1 equals to number 0 and z minus number 2 equals to number 0 in here so in this one we have z equals to number one and z equals to number two so we have the formula of z equals to a plus b i so in this situation b equal to number zero similar for this one now that means z equals to number one that will be in here and z equals to number two that should be in here and we see that the both z equals to number one and z equal to number two inside about c that is about the contour in here now let's go to the next one so as z equals to number one so we have about g z equals to z minus 1 and f of z f of z that is about this one in here so I will put this one go in here multiply by z minus 1 so if we simplify we have like this
Now we can find about residue. We have number 1 and F. So for this, for this situation, we put number 1 going here, number 1 going here. So we calculate this one. And we have negative number 2. Now let's go to z equals to number 2. So we do the same technique. So we put number 2 cone here, number 2 cone here, and we have number 5. And now we can find the final answer in here. So that should be about 2bi, and we sum the residue of this one. And this one so we can get the final answer in here this one we have negative number 2 this one positive number 5 and we have 6bi that is the end Thank you for watching.